so welcome to physics online session in this today's class i'm starting a new chapter that is atoms what do you know about atoms so you have studied it in your lower classes and also in chemistry so that so all the matter in the universe is made of atoms okay all the matter in the universe is made of atoms uh, and what is atom what is an atom what atom consists of and what is the structure of an atom to know this almost uh, it took 2500 years okay so in 500 bc greek philosophers started thinking about atoms greek phila in 500 bc greek philosophers uh, democritus Democritus and Aristotle. Okay. According to Democritus, the matter is made of discrete particles, made of discrete discrete particles. Okay. if this is a matter so and matter is made of discrete particles or so matter is not continuous okay according to but according to aristotle matter is continuous matter is continuous okay there is no gap between the uh, the particles it is a continuous matter exists continuously okay so after long gap the question was again reopened Uh, from the ex following experimental observations first one is kinetic theory of gases kinetic theory of gases okay and uh, the second one is laws of chemical combinations laws of chemical laws of chemical combinations and third one is spectrum of light spectrum of light okay so these three experimental observations confirms the atomic nature of matter confirms atomic nature confirms the atomic nature of matter atomic nature of matter okay so here so and uh, the first uh, theory first theory regarding uh, atomic nature of matter was given by dalton so dalton's hypothesis dalton's hypothesis is taken as the first theory regarding the structure regarding the atomic nature of matter so according to dalton hypothesis matter is composed of matter is composed of matter consists of composed of small small particles small particles small particles called atoms small particles called atoms small particles he named the particles as atoms okay so and, uh, and all these atoms are these atoms are identical all these atoms these atoms are identical atoms are identical okay according to dalton so atoms are indivisible atoms are in divisible okay don't know what atom consists of so okay so according to dalton it is a fundamental uh, particle of the substance okay right no after dalton first theory regarding uh, 
the structure of atom was given by J. J. Thompson. Okay, first see regarding structure of atom. Next one is uh, first theory. First theory regarding structure. Structure of atom was not given by Dalton. So I'm talking about structure. First theory regarding the structure of an atom. Structure of atom was given by. Like to explain. Uh, first theory regarding structure of atom was developed by G. 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 Thompson. J. Thompson in year in the year 1898. Okay, so let's discuss what is a Thompson's model. This is called Thompson's plum pudding model. According to J. J. Thompson model, all the uh, matter sorry um, <coughs> talking about the structure of an atom. So here uh, according to this Thompson's plum pudding model. Put a positive charge, atom consists of a positive charge, and all the positive charge of an atom is concentrated, uh, distributed uniformly throughout the volume of the atom. Okay, and the negatively charged particles like electrons embedded in it, like a seeds of water. Milk. I'll show the figure so that you can understand. So, the next slide. So, here this is the Thompson's plum pudding model. So this is an atom. Okay. So here I'll change the pen here. Okay. Right. So this is atom. This is an atom. So according to J.J. Thompson, so total positive charge is uh, distributed uh, uniformly throughout the volume of the cylinder. This is an atom, so this positive charge is uniformly distributed throughout the volume of an atom. I, and uh, negatively charged particles like uh, like uh, negatively charged particles, uh, negatively charged electrons embedded like uh, seeds of uh, watermelon. Okay, so but positive charge is distributed uniformly. Okay, right. This is about the uh, first theory regarding the structure of an atom, but it is failed. It is failed. Uh, explain the stability. It is failed to explain the stability. Stability of an atom. Stability of atom. And because when there is a positive charge, so in the C of in the sea of positive charge, uh, electrons are embedded like uh, uh, seeds of watermelon. So there is when there is a positive charge, uh, uh, when uh, when negative charge embedded in a positive charge, so the net charge will be zero. But ex experimental observations reveals that uh, uh, positive and negative charge are separate on positive and the negative charges uh, are separately separately distributed distributed so so this theory is failed to explain the experimental observations and also failed to explain the stability of an atom okay so right next uh, so next theory regarding atom was given by uh, rutherford rutherford Okay, Rutherford is a student of uh, J.J. Thompson and he carried out number of experiment, uh, experiments to study the structure of an atom and uh, based on the suggestions based on the suggestions of Rutherford, his students Geiger and Marsden did an experiment. So from those, uh, from that uh, experimental observation, he concluded, uh, he gave some assumptions regarding the uh, he gave some points regarding the structure of an atom. First, we will discuss what is the experiment done by Geiger and Morstein and we will discuss what is the Rutherford atomic uh, model. Okay, so right. So, uh, I will discuss uh, Rutherford atomic model right now, so, which is an alpha particle. 
scattering experiments. So it was done by uh, Geiger and Marsden. So Geiger, Geiger, Marsden. These people are, uh, are the students of Rutherford. They did uh, this experiment. So known as Geiger and Marsden experiment. Experiment. Okay. So here this is the experimental setup of Geiger and Marsden experiment. Okay. So in this experiment, uh, uh, alpha particles are emitted from a source uh, from a radioactive element like bismuth. Okay. So source of uh, this is a source of alpha particles. What is an alpha particle? So what is what is alpha particle? Okay. Alpha particle is nothing but the helium. When you remove two electrons, helium helium atom, okay, doubly doubly ionized helium atom is called alpha particle. If you remove two electrons from the helium atom, so it becomes alpha particle. Okay. So and the, this is bismuth is a radioactive element, so it emits alpha particles. So, so here alpha particles of energy for almost five mega volts, mega electron volts of energy. Uh, the electrons which are having five mega electron volts are uh, moving towards uh, the gold file. Here alpha particle experiments, uh, scattering experiment. Alpha particles are scattered by a gold file. So why a gold file is chosen here? So why because gold has a a good uh, malleable and ductility properties so he gold can be made into very uh, fine sheets thin plates ka convert sheets that is a, a good property of uh, uh, gold that is why gold is chosen and uh, it is heavy also okay here alpha part in this experiment alpha particles are emitted these are alpha particles are emitted from the gold uh, sorry uh, from the radioactive element like a bismuth and uh, they are made into narrow beam okay so they are made into narrow narrow beam by passing them through the lead bricks okay by passing them through the lead bricks so actually uh, the beam is like this okay but uh, only uh, so the only this part of alpha particle or the alpha particle which are uh, passing through in the direction of holes the only uh, eject out from the uh, only you will find them in, uh, in the other side the remaining alpha particles are absorbed by the lead bricks so that you will get uh, the narrow beam narrow beam of alpha particles so narrow beam of alpha particle we need a narrow beam of alpha particles so to strike the gold file so by how how, how how do you get this narrow beam of alpha particle by passing to them through the lead bricks now these alpha particles are uh, now the fine beam of alpha particles allowed to incident on the gold file okay so and the thickness of the gold file is about uh, uh, 2.1 into 10 power of minus 7 meters very thin gold plate is taken here so almost it, uh, so this much of thickness is chosen because it contains only it has it has uh, it has only few atoms okay so when the, this much of this is taken, so there will be only group of atoms are there. Okay. So and that is suitable for this experiment. So my alpha part know this alpha particles allowed to incident on the gold file. They will be scattered in different directions. So they were they found that Geiger and Mars were found that the alpha particles are scattered in different directions. Okay. So and uh, uh, so actually um, before going to this, uh, okay scattered in different directions. And, uh, and the scattering alpha particles are absorbed by means of a rotatable detector uh, attached to a microscope rotatable detector which consists of a zinc sulfide screen so when alpha particle when scattered alpha particles uh, strikes this zinc sulfide screen produces flashes or flashes or scintillations flashes are scintillations so by counting these flashes or scintillation with the help of microscope we can count the number of particles uh, reaching the screen okay 
so this is experimental setup okay what we have to do so what they did so they uh, they studied the uh, number of alpha particle reaching the screen so with the scattering angle theta okay so if you if you draw a graph between the scattering angle what is the scattering angle angle between the incident line this is a incident beam direction of incident beam direction of incident beam this is a scattered beam scattered beam okay angle between the incident and a scattered beam is known as angle of scattering so you have to so we have to study uh, the number of alpha particles uh, with the scattering angle theta okay if you draw a graph between the number of uh, scattered alpha particles which are detected by using microscope and uh, the scattering angle so you will find that most of the alpha particles are scattered less than uh, One degree. Okay, what are the experimental observations? Experimental. So I'll change the pen. Experimental observations. Experimental observations. Okay. So they found that most of the alpha particles, most of the alpha particles. scattered most of the alpha particles scattered at an angle less than 1 degree almost most nothing but almost 98.6 percent of alpha particles scattered at an angle less than degree the most it indicates that most are undeviated most it, it means that most of uh The alpha particles, particles passed un without without any deviation, without any without much deviation, without much deviation. Okay, without any deviation almost. Okay, so and just to, just to. Uh, how much? 1.4 percent. Just 1.4 percent of alpha particles, alpha particles scattered, scattered, sorry, more than, more than a degree. This is the meaning of the above statement only. This is the first one, first experimental observation, and the second one is so. and with a few a few alpha particles very few a few alpha particles scattered few alpha particles scattered uh at a scattering angle more than more than 90 degrees okay and it is also found that it is also found that a very few alpha particles a very few alpha particles very few alpha particles one one in 8000 one in 8000 alpha particles are back scattered or back scattered or back scattered okay so right these are the experimental observations okay look at this so at an angle so most of the almost here is you can see um, right so here almost 10 power of 7 alpha particles are scattered at an angle at, at lower angles okay alpha particles which are scattering uh, which are having which are having uh, scattered they are having a scattering angle of uh, Uh, 170 is about almost uh, in the order of 10 only. Okay, so so these experimental observations uh, suggest uh, as that a total mass based on this experimental observation, Uther Ford concluded that uh, 
uh, total mass of an atom total mass and positive charge of an atom is concentrated in a very small region that is called a nucleus okay so i will show you the uh, model here okay so here this is the actual experimental setup this is actual experimental setup okay so radioactive uh, element so okay so which uh, bismuth radioactive element okay so which emits radioactive particles like alpha particles and all of incident on a gold foil and scattered in different directions okay so hand uh, this this can the scattered particle can be observed with the help of a rotatable detector which can of a zinc sulfide screen which produces scintillations or flashes on the screen so by counting the number of flashes we can count the number of electrons number of sorry number of alpha particle reaching the uh, detector okay so if you draw a graph between the number of alpha particle reaching the uh, uh, screen with an angle with a scattering angle uh, you you can find this experimental observation so actually it is expected that most actually it is expected that most of the alpha particles are back scattered what do you expect generally if you place uh, something in the path of any uh, for example if you place any wall in, in the in the path of uh, water what have, what do you expect our uh, uh, water reflects back uh, water reflects back in the same way uh, they also rutherford and uh, weger and mars are also expected that most of the alpha particle return back but uh, the result is quite opposite most of the alpha particles are scattered and very few reflects back and this uh, uh, leads led to the discovery of uh, atomic nucleus so this is will happen because most of the alpha part, most of the uh, atom is empty okay this is because mm, i'll write here right this is an atom this will happen only when this experimental observations from this experimental observation we can say that total mass and positive charge total mass and positive charge of an, of an atom is almost 99.99% of mass of an atom is concentrated in a very small region called nucleus nucleus okay from the nucleus electron revolves uh, like a planets uh, uh, revolving in a like a planet revolving around the okay so around the nucleus electron revolves in a circular orbit okay and uh, so i'll write the experimental observations or uh, conclusions actually for the experimental observation are the conclusions of rutherford uh, alpha particle scattering experiment so this is uh, these are the conclusions so rutherford concluded most of the alpha particles uh, most of the atom is empty okay most of the atom is empty yes or no so total mass is concentrated in very small region remaining space is empty remaining space is empty electrons very very small almost uh, the space inside atom is very the empty space is there exists a huge empty space inside an atom and the total mass and positive charge of an atom is concentrated in a small region uh, known as nucleus and electrons revolve around it uh, like a planet revolving around the sun okay right so uh, this is about the rutherford atomic model rutherford atomic model okay now we will discuss some uh, definitions regarding this experiment what is impact parameter what is uh, uh, the distance of closest approach here okay so so in the trajectory the next concept is trajectory of alpha particle in this topic we will de define one two uh, i am introducing two parameter two definitions here one is impact parameter which is represented by b and least distance or minimum distance of approach is small d okay so look at the trajectory actually this is this will happen so um, when alpha particle these are the alpha particles uh, when it goes towards uh, nucleus they will sorry i have want to remove this one first right Okay. 
here alpha particles which are very close suffer much deviation like this which are far away suffer less deviation less deviation which are very far almost suffer no deviation at all okay so this is experimental observations okay so a particle which is directed straight towards i told that if out of 8000 alpha particles one alpha particle sorry one alpha particle is back scatter one alpha particle is back scattered okay so this is that alpha particle when alpha particle is directed straight towards a nucleus so okay it is it suffers back scattering why because alpha particle has a positive charge and gold nucleus has a positive charge there is a repulsive force so it will be back scattered okay so remaining particles also scattered but uh, the alpha particle which is directed towards z suffers much deviation that is uh, uh, about 180 degrees for this the angle of scattering is 180 degrees okay and what we are talking about we are talking about uh, the impact uh, uh, parameter and minimum distance of uh, minimum distance of approach okay so here it is uh, so what is the minimum distance of approach before that we have to know what is the uh, the impact parameter impact parameter is the perpendicular distance between uh, the initial velocity here for example alpha particle this is alpha particle projected towards towards a nucleus okay so here uh, the distance between the uh, in direction of initial velocity and to the center of the nucleus distance between the initial velocity of alpha particle and to the center of the nucleus is called the impact parameter impact parameter it is different for different alpha particles okay so is about the impact parameter okay which is useful in problems no i am not going in detail just try to remember the definition it is the perpendicular distance between the uh, initial velocity of alpha particle to the center of the nucleus and what is the minimum distance of approach when alpha particle with some kinetic energy an alpha particle with some kinetic energy uh, we have chosen 5.5 mega volts of energy when alpha particles of this energy projected straight to straight towards the nucleus what happens the kinetic energy of this alpha particle decreases the kinetic energy uh, the kinetic energy of alpha particle decreases and the potential energy of alpha particle increases kinetic energy decreases according to law of conservation so when kinetic energy decreases potential energy decreases increases what is this potential energy alpha particle has positive charge and uh, sorry alpha particle has positive charge and uh, gold nucleus also positive charge okay as alpha particle approaches the nucleus the kinetic energy decreases and potential energy increases at a particular distance at a particular particular distance okay kinetic energy goes to zero and potential energy become maximum so that particular distance is called a minimum distance of approach so alpha particle cannot go beyond that distance why because its kinetic energy completely uh, becomes zero it has only repulsive potential energy what happens so it, it will be back scattered okay so uh, so that distance is called distance minimum distance of approach uh, i'll find an expression for d minimum distance of approach here first i'll erase it so what is happening here as alpha particle approaches kinetic energy is decreasing and potential energy is increasing at a particular distance kinetic energy goes to zero and potential energy become maximum okay at a particular so distance they balance actually uh, at this distance kinetic energy become potential energy to and kinetic energy is become zero and it is totally converted into potential energy okay so so i will write an expression for i will write an expression for here minimum distance of approach here what is the kinetic energy expression 1 by 2 m v square or simply ke okay is equals to potential energy 
1 by 4 pi epsilon naught if two charges charge of alpha particle is plus 2e and charge of whole nucleus is plus ze z is, z is nothing but 79e okay 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught expression for potential energy is equals to uh, potential energy equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2 by r r d distance between the charges what is the first charge alpha particle what is the charge of alpha particle plus 2e so plus 2e into plus z e charge of a gold nucleus divided by distance d we can write it as d is equals to 2 z e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into half m v square okay so right okay and uh, total mass and positive charge of an atom of an atom is located located in a small region small region total mass and positive charge of an atom is located in a small region called nucleus called nucleus okay and uh, negatively charged electrons negatively charged electrons electrons revolves around the nucleus around the nucleus like planets revolving around the sun revolving around the sun okay that is why it is known as rutherford planetary atomic model the second one is The uh, atom, no, the size of the nucleus, sorry, here the size, size of the nucleus, sorry. I will draw the size of the nucleus. Size of the nucleus is is about is about ten power minus fifteen meters. Okay. These are the conclusions from the um, Rutherford alpha particle scattering experiment. They are nothing but the assumptions, nothing but hypothesis of um, not hypothesis, these are the points regarding Rutherford atomic model. Okay. Okay. So, Rutherford gave uh, the correct structure of an atom, but he also failed to explain the uh, stability of an atom. So, now we will discuss what are the drawbacks of uh, Rutherford uh, atomic model. Rutherford atomic model. You can see so when electron is. Uh, so, I told that electrons, negatively charged electrons are revolving around the nucleus uh, in circular orbits. Okay, but according to Maxwell's, uh, according to Maxwell's electromagnetic theory, so uh, it is revolving electron here. Electron is revolving in a circular orbit. So an object when it is in a circular motion, experience experience a centripetal force, centripetal force towards the nucleus, and when there is a force. Uh, there is an acceleration when there is an acceleration uh, according to a classical electromagnetic theory so accelerating electron so will radiate energy accelerating electron radiating energy so that uh, it it emits wave continuously uh, and the energy of this electron decreases continuously and fall finally fall into the nucleus so it is that is why why it is not falling into the nucleus was not explained by the uh, Rutherford 
so he failed to explain the stability of an atom okay so uh, when when the energy loses uh, the electron releases energy continuously and uh, okay so uh, it emits wavelength of different frequencies the spectrum of uh, atom is uh, according to this concept is continuous but actually it is discrete okay so this uh, mainly rutherford what was uh, model was failed to explain the stability of an uh, atom uh, are you got it i think uh, uh, yes sir so when it ex uh, when once again i'm repeating here the electron is revolving in a circular orbit when it is in a when a particle is in a circular motion experience centripetal force when there is a force the body will accelerate so according but according to maxwell's electromagnetic theory accelerating electron will radiate energy in the form of electromagnetic waves okay when the release uh, energy it lo electron uh, loses energy it comes close close to the nucleus and finally fall within the nucleus after that uh, there is no atom there is no substance but atom exists okay so uh, that is why but actually it is not happening so why it is not falling into the nucleus was not explained by the rover for that is why uh, that is why it is a field to explain the stability next one number 2 it cannot explain the characteristic line spectra of atom so okay so also it is also field to explain the spectrum of an atom okay next uh, in the next chapter in the next uh, class we'll discuss what is a spectra what are the different types of spectra okay thank you